Hello everybody, it is L.E. Diecast, or Mr. L.E. Diecast, if you want to be exact, but L.E. Diecast to my friends. And we are back for Five Pack Friday today. Now we've got something a little bit different. You can see we've got two Five Packs here, a Matchbox and a new Hot Wheels. I guess both of those are new. New were. But we've also got Shark Week, Discovery Shark Week series from where is it where is it where is it matchbox Welcome back, and as usual with Five Pack Friday, we're going to take a look at these cars. I really like that Piranha Terror. That is probably going to be my favorite of these. But as we mentioned, we also have those Shark Weeks cards. Now, I don't know if these were exclusive to Toys R Us. That's where I found them. I only saw them there very briefly. Uh, but we will take a look at those, talk about what they are, where you might be able to find them. And I am going to cut away. I'm going to open up those five packs and we'll get these guys all set up. Yeah, I have managed to get those open. You can see that matchbox one gave me quite a bit of trouble. I pretty much had to open it with my teeth. Uh, let's take a look at these uh, Shark Week scars first. So there are five of these. And uh, when I bought these, we had just come off of Discovery Shark Week, which I think is in, what, June every year, I'm going to guess? Maybe April, May, June, maybe May. Uh, but we do love Shark Week. Me and my son watched, I think, every one of their shows that they had. All of these have the same card on them. It would have been nice if maybe each card had a different shark with some information about that shark. That would have been very cool. But they do have this nifty little chomp cutout, which made them stand out on the shelf. Uh, the back of these, all the same, and I will show it to you if you want to keep it there celebrate shark week with its jawsome collection of matchbox vehicles bursting at the gills with adventure well i don't know about that but uh fin fact there are over 500 species of sharks in the world with new species being discovered let's see if that's the same on every one of those uh well i'll just kind of show you what we've got there there are the five cars as far as i know there were just the five cars in this set and this one is, I don't know if there's an order to these, so I'm just going to open them. This is the Rescue Waver. Get it? Good joke. One of two boats in this series, or I guess you could call them boats. There he is. He does have little wheels on the bottom. It's got that kind of shark teeth thing. Not one I would usually get, to be honest. Just because it doesn't really do much on the track, but... We'll put him down there. Let's see if there's the same fin fact. Oh no, the fin fact is different. So I uh, I was wrong. The great white shark snout, stout <laughs> tail powers it forward. So the fin fact is different. Again, I would have liked to have seen a different shark picture on each one. This one is the Chevy Corvette ZR1. Maybe my favorite out of this group. There it is. These do have more decals, or, or tampos, I should say, on them than the usual Matchbox. This one also has some pretty nice tires on it. By the way, these are all rubber tires on these. Or, uh, I'm sorry, I screwed that up. These are all plastic tires on these. They did cost a little bit more, uh, prohibitively more. Had I really known how much they cost, I might not have gotten these. I think they were $169 or $189 each. I think that's a bit much, considering there really wasn't anything collectible here in this group. Um, they tricked me. They were sitting on the shelf in the $109 slot, so they didn't change the price. I tried arguing, but you know, what are you, you going to do? It's just a, just a toy. Next up, oh, here's our fin fact. This one is, our fin fact is, with no natural predators, fight off sharks or apex predators. There you go. You probably know that. And this is the uh, International Scout 4x4. We've seen this guy. All of these we've seen in the main lines for Matchbox. I do like these little special edition 
Campos, I think they're, to me that's kind of what Hot Wheels and Matchbox were all about as a kid, were those kind of crazy Tampos, not the realistic cars. This one is interesting. Now this is the Deep Diver. Interestingly enough, right on the shelf next to this was the mainline version, which I thought was exactly the same. They are different. Those teeth uh, Tampos are different. And you can see this one has a Tampo kind of on the, it's like a shark on the side of it. Not so much with this one. But right next to each other, you would uh, think that they would do a little better job of picking the picking the models and keeping them different, what's on the shelf, but this one is nice for customs. I probably won't chop this one up. I think we've chopped every other one up that I have. Uh, the little thing here in the back does not spin, if you're wondering. Nothing goes up or down on it. It'd be nice if the little periscopes came up or something on that. It'd be really cool if those little claws clicked open and shut, but maybe a bit much to ask. Here's the Toyota Tacoma. This would be the other one that might be my favorite. Not, not a fan of that orange roll bar and safety board back there, or rescue board. I think that's what that is. But Shark Week popular one. Would have liked to have seen that in a different color, I think. Clearly made for kids. You can tell the bright colors, the big, bold graphics. Obviously not a not a series they were aiming at adults so much with. Just find it odd sometimes which models they choose. Let's uh, move on to Matchbox. This is the, if I can get my finger out of the way, Police Rescue 5-Pack. This one may still be on the shelves near you. I think it came out a few months ago. Here's the back. There really isn't much on the back of Matchbox anymore. The sides I totally destroyed, but they were just um, decoration. Also, mine, mine was broken, but I think all these cars are the same. You'll know that I kind of got punked on that in a few videos ago. But uh, I believe that these are the cars that are supposed to be in there. Let's take a look at them. I'm going to put this down. First off, this one might be my favorite. This is that little meter made car. Or meter officer car, I guess. Are these all, I think these are all NYPD. Which is very nice if you're looking for a little set of cars. There is the, what is this guy? This is the Chevy suburban uh, this particular pack I think was pretty popular there's some popular models in here that's a nice little suburban for matchbox the sport SUV this time in black but another model that many people are gonna like uh, I can't read it, but I'll be able to read it when you do. Courtesy, professionalism, and respect. That is traffic enforcement. These are meant to be very realistic, obviously. Here's a little tow truck. Um, I don't think we have seen this guy recently. I don't know. But you can see they all go together very nicely in a little set. That is a very big hook. Probably not going to see a giant hook like that on the back of a tow truck, but... A lot of times kids think that's what's on the back of a tow truck. Uh, and there is our squad car. This one is the uh, Dodge Charger Pursuit. Interesting bottom there with the elephant. That's what they put uh, for the Thailand cars. That one. That is probably going to be a fairly popular pack. I like a lot of those cars. I did not tell you the name of this car, by the way. This one is the uh, GMC Wrecker. You'll see that little elephant there, too. All right, let's take a look at the Street Beast. This one is in conjunction with the Street Beast line or sub-series that's going on with the main lines. Not a overly popular line, but for the kids. I know my son has really liked the Street Beast line. We'll just start here at the bottom. This one is the is the Diesel Duty. And there he is. This one is uh, Pest Control. 
I guess that fits the Street Beast line. Most of these Street Beasts have been fantasy cars with some sort of animal theme to them. This year, this is another one. Not sure this is really fits the Street Beast idea, but Exterminator. His gun does move on top, if you're wondering. It does not move when it rolls. It's not one of those rollomatic types. And this guy is, um, I forgot his name. Is he, he's not the exterminator. I don't remember his name. I can tell you. Turbo turret. That's turbo turret. That makes sense. Here is Piranha Terror. This one is probably one of my top, I'll say, 15, 10 favorite cars. I know it is not for most of you. The treasure hunt of this one was one of the least liked of the treasure hunts. But I do like this. We've not seen this guy a lot until recently. I think there was maybe only two or three versions of this released in the last five years or so. But in the last uh, year, we've seen one as a treasure hunt. And this guy in blue. This is Buzz Bomb. Buzz Bomb's been around for a while also. Not particularly fond of Buzz Bomb to be perfectly honest. He's not one of my... Oh no, I'm sorry. That is Dragon Tail. Oh, you, you know what? That is Dragon Tail. You'll, I'll show you why I thought it was Buzz Bomb. But that is Dragon Tail. It's supposed to be like a dragonfly. See that dragonfly tail there? And if you're wondering, Dragon Tail does not do much. His wings don't fold out or anything. That would be cool. But yeah, that's Dragon Tail. And Dragon Tail is pretty good on the uh, straight tracks with boosters. He's got that metal plate there. This is Buzz Bomb. And again, kind of the same thing with Buzz Bomb. But Buzz Bomb does, maybe, I thought, oh, there we go. He will open up. There's Buzz Bomb. He opens up, and uh, you can see his buzzy insides there. Buzz Bomb is one of my favorites of my son, but not necessarily mine. That is Buzz Bomb. So that is going to do it for this mostly five pack Friday. Uh, I think my favorites of these, I got to tell you, Piranha Terra is going to be my favorite, but I do like, you know, I, I like this uh, White Suburban for some reason. I'm attracted to that one. I like that one also, but, so I'll give you one for the adults and one for the kids. How about that? Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.